Well, hey guys, good morning. Hey, if you want to see the sunshine, you got to get up early. What a great day it is out here today on Old Hickory Lake, just outside of Nashville, Tennessee. Hope you guys have had a great morning so far. I've had a pretty good morning fishing, not great. I've caught four fish, nothing any size, but man, did I see a beautiful sunrise this morning. Golly, it was gorgeous coming up this morning. I want to encourage you today on one topic. What happens if your plan doesn't fit their program? Let me tell you what I'm talking about. I'm in a good mood this morning, but I was madder than mad yesterday afternoon. On my way home, I called an insurance agent and I said, hey, I got a couple of questions and I know you're the guy to help me. Not a problem at all, Big A, what is it? I said, listen, I'm wanting to do something with my life insurance and uh, I want to add an additional beneficiary. And he thought about it a minute. He said, well, you can't do that. I said, well, why, why can't I do that? He said, well, not the way you're wanting to do it. He said, uh, they've not got an insurable interest and you just can't do that. And I said, well, I disagree with that. First of all, they do. And second of all, what do I need to do? He said, there's an easy go around. He said, all you've got to do is get the policy in Robin's name and then change the beneficiary. And then they can't say anything about it. And I said, well, that sounds a little bit deceitful to me. And he said, ah, oh, people do it every day. It's not a problem whatsoever. I said, uh, well, how do I get around that from an integrity standpoint? He said, well, you just change your mind on the beneficiary. I said, well, that's not true though, because I'm going into this with intention of that person being the beneficiary. He said, well, sometimes programs are messed up and you just got to go with uh, what's best for you. And I said, well, it's not my program. <coughs> Excuse me, it's their program. And I don't understand how with integrity we can do this. Guys, listen, <laughs> first of all, I'm not going to do that. And I know you probably wouldn't either, but many people do. How do we expect our children to behave in a manner that we're proud of them if we as adults are doing these go-arounds or finding these loopholes uh, in order to meet our needs? Now, here's the truth of the matter. I said, what is the premium going to be if I do it the other way, the way I want to do it, the way we lay it out, and I come clean and say, hey, this is who the beneficiary is going to be. He said, well, if they do that, if they do, the underwriters will decide. If they do that, your premium could be 125% more than it would be if you would do it the way I'm telling you. And I'm like, okay, now I got to make a decision, right? Well, for me, it was an easy decision. I'm not going to do it, right? If it costs me 300% more, I'm not going to do it. But let me say this. Those decisions are difficult, and I've been faced with them now for 41 years in business, and you have too. What decisions do you make? Do you make the honorable choice, the right decision, even when it doesn't fit your plan? I want to encourage you today to do that. And it is hard. I just want to be honest with you. Man, when it comes down to writing that check, I'm like, hey, it'd be easy for me to just say this was my intention and now I've changed my mind and I've saved myself hundreds if not thousands of dollars simply by finding the loophole or the go around. Guys, I want to tell you something. You'll sleep better at night. There'll be better repercussions as a result of you making great decisions from an integrity standpoint. Yes, it's going to cost you money many, many times. Is the system broke? Maybe. I don't know. You know, it's their program and it's the way they've set it up. And if I don't like it, I'm welcome to go to a different company. But you can't tailor what your needs are and do it out of integrity or the lack of integrity, I guess I should say. I just want to encourage you today as you go through life, as you go through your business decisions, I want to encourage you to make the right decision. The litmus test for me always is if I can sit down with my daughters or sit down with any of my grandchildren and tell them exactly what I've done and my motivation behind it, uh, if I can pass that litmus test, then I'm all in. I'm interested in doing it. So I want to leave you with this. Think about the decisions you're making on a daily basis. And as you go forward in the decisions you make, are they with integrity? And can they pass the litmus test of going to your children saying, this is exactly what dad did today? What do you think? Hey, I'm Big A. I got to get back to fishing. I've only got about 30 more minutes and I got to run home, take a shower, get myself to work and you go and have a great day today. I'm Big A coming to you live 
from Old Hickory Lake. Man, what a beautiful morning it is. Hope you guys have a good one. We'll see you.